today I'm going to demonstrate something very cool and very significant to everyone's cell building. Uh, I think this is, a, this is a critical component of the power supply necessary so that you can limit current. The most important thing is limiting current and not dissipating power in order to limit the current into the water. This is a capacitor. It's about 50 microfarads. I bought it at a uh, heating supply house. Um, I'm sure every heating supply place would have these. Uh, it's a motor run capacitor. They have things called a motor start capacitor. I wouldn't recommend getting a motor start capacitor because they're not really designed for continuous use and we're going to be sending a continuous 60 hertz 110 volt current wave into this thing so whatever capacitor you choose it's going to have to be able to withstand constant usage now I got this idea from a booklet that I purchased from Eagle Research entitled Capacitive Battery Charging and that's essentially what this is. Instead of using a transformer or a resistor to limit the current going into my cell, I'm going to use a capacitor. And there's a formula for how much current you can get out of um, the microfarads of each capacitor. And uh, a general rule to follow as far as how you determine the capacitance is for every 50 microfarads you get about 2 amps from 110 volt house current. So that's basically what we're getting here. On the other side of this rectifier, we're going to get two amps going into the cell, and no heat is going to be lost. That's the thing. And I'll show you how this works. I'm going to power up. The amount of gas it's putting off is, is, is astounding. This is a 7 plate series stack. You can see a crazy amount of bubbles coming off of there. So, one of the great things about this is that the capacitor will only pass as much current that the load dictates. Now this is a very complex load essentially it should be a dead short but there's a small resistance in there combined with capacitance of the plates Now, to get more current here, what would you have to do? It's very simple. All you have to do is increase the microfarads. So, let's say instead of 2 amps ending up at the leads, I want 4 amps. All I have to do is double the capacitance. So, in this case, it's 50 microfarads. The only thing I'd have to do is buy another one of these and add it in parallel with this capacitor yet it's still going to run both capacitors in series with the load this is essentially the circuit you're looking at right here you have the uh, the house current 110 volts AC it's going to a regular capacitor it's not electrolytic it's very important that you understand that if you use an electrolytic capacitor here it's gonna blow up plain and simple the polarity on this capacitor has to be able to reverse. Therefore, it has to be a standard capacitor. Um, I don't know what they use in this. Probably 
it's probably paper or mica. Uh, I'm really not sure. Maybe it's poly. I don't know. Um, another thing you should notice from this drawing is that I have the the rating on the capacitor has got to be more than the voltage you're putting in here. And so I put 200 volts plus. That doesn't mean polarity. That means 200 or more volts. In fact, this capacitor right here is rated for 370 volts. And it's very simple. Then it just goes to the diode rectifier and you got your positive and it goes to the cell plate array and then the negative goes to the other side. It's just that simple. And you can run any kind of load off of this. You can run light bulbs. I don't know. The sky's the limit, really. As long as whatever you're hooking up to can tolerate 110 volts and it's probably more voltage that's why I say 200 volts plus because once you put it through the rectifier you're gonna end up with more voltage because of the uh, because of the intrinsic characteristics of the rectifier and the great thing about this is if you run 220 volts into this you're gonna get 4 amps from 50 microfarads but like I said make sure your capacitor is rated to handle that voltage. I at least double the voltage rating when I use capacitors. So if it's 100 volts, I'll use 200 volts. In this case, I went way over. I went 370 volts, which I did in the event that I want to use 220 volts to run this. I can do that. And then I can have much more plates.